Hello, audience! Today we are doing the first episode of our Multiplayer Volts Let's Play. I am here with the Trigonator, uh, Gabriel, JW1, and Casey James. I will be calling them Gabe, Trick, and Casey. Introduce yourselves, uh, guys! Uh, I'm Trick. Uh, I'm Gabe. And I'm Casey. And if Casey is not in the call very often, it's because his internet sucks. Please forgive don't me. Mind my, don't mind my very annoying voice. Alright, so, Fine. we... We are going to be joined in the vacuum. by one other guy. <laughs> yeah, the vacuum. We're going to be joined by one other guy. Um, and he's not here right now because he's just he's a slacker and no one can talk to him. He's, he's the worst. But he'll be on my team. Team 2 is Casey, and Team 3 is Trick and Gabe. Casey is too pro for a team, he's just gonna go solo. He's too good for us. Yep. Obviously. This internet connection is the connection of a pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just go to McDonald's and plug your computer in. <laughs> <laughs> now, right. should we tell him the rules now? Yep. So. There are a couple of rules that are just to make the um, Let's Play better. Number one, we can't go outside of uh, 5,000 from spawn. Or, I mean, not from spawn, from zero, zero. Because if we do, then uh, missile launchers would no longer be able to reach us because their maximum range is 9,999 blocks. Uh, rule two is that if someone is not online, you are not allowed to attack or raid them. And rule three, which I'm making up right now, is no living in the stupid redwood forest over there, because it really it really messes up missiles. <laughs> that, was, that was my first race of action, actually. <laughs> Immediately, just live where a missile cannot hit you, because there are too many trees. <laughs> Pretty much. We're we're getting low on cheese. I have to restock the table. Also, no cheating. Oh, okay. I'll delete my cheese. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's supposed there to be on go. super hard mode. Yeah, we were gonna we were gonna do ultra hardcore. Oh, I'm still in creative. <laughs> we were gonna do ultra hardcore, but um, that didn't happen because it's not in. Um, oh, I'm, oh crap! I'm in creative and <laughs> I've deopt myself. Wow. Okay. I have to reopt my. Or, no, wait. I can do game mode. A or S. Okay, great. <clears throat> ah, whatever. Up. I assume there's no like game oh, game rule keep inventory true and game rule mod briefing up briefing false. No, definitely definitely not. No. Oh. Now, no griefing when they're off the server, but can we lead an army of creepers to their base? <laughs> uh, we, we we can set traps, yes. So I guess okay. you could put an army of creepers in their base. Amazing. Question? Yeah. Can we cure us each other now? Uh, not in Switzerland. Switzerland is neutral. <laughs> this is the Swiss, Swiss representative right here. We have him in cryostasis because it was the only way for it to be cold enough for him to like not boil in his own skin. <laughs> oh no! No! He's dying! He's, He's on fire! No! no. Oh no! Punch him to life! You're a murderer! <laughs> What's wrong with you, Gabe? You killed him! Uh, he suffered a death. He was the last Swedish person in all of existence. <laughs> right. So, that's about it. Uh, the windmills on top of Switzerland are off limits. They're just... <clears throat> it's the Dutch, right? They have windmills. I, I, did, I did that wrong, didn't I? It shouldn't be Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, doesn't matter. All right. So, I guess we should just go into different Skype calls now, and we'll get started. All right. Oh, Casey's gone. Trigger. Fantastic. I'm back to the call, but I'm out of Minecraft. Nice oh. Help. Okay. Oh, there he so is. I did, There's Casey. Oh, I didn't actually hear the part about the windmill, so I'm just gonna assume they're free, free roam. <laughs> yeah, one, one per person. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll. Get out of Skype calls and I'll be right back. 
Hello guys and welcome to the rest of this video. Uh, I'm going to be playing with uh, Cody later, who's a friend of mine from real life, IRL. Um, he is not on right now. Like I said earlier, no one can reach him. So we're just excluding him from the beginning. We'll explain the rules to him later. Uh, everyone has gone off in their own directions, so I will do the same. I think this way looks like as good a way as any, so that's the way I'm going to go. We aren't allowed to go past 5,000, which is uh, kind of new for me. I usually go out super far. But I guess it is my rule, so I should probably obey it. Uh, so, I am most likely just going to do a montage of different places that I see on my running. Uh, there's another redwood forest here. Because that way you don't have to be with me the entire time that I'm just sprinting through the snow and stuff. And what are these pigs? Come on, give me some food. I don't want to die. There you go. So, yep. I will um, start a, like, uh, what is it? A little montage right here. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, I am back. I am finished with my exploring. I found a place to live. We are about 3,000 blocks from Switzerland over there. Um, also, while I was away, I did some mining. We've got this many ores, which I'm quite proud of. We have got one osmium left over from the fifth stack. Uh, and then I've got all this stuff as well. I was mining for a long time. I went to the nether. Um, that was pretty productive. I got some good stuff there. I have three gold ingots from a dungeon. Got a bunch of blocks. I have a really good amount of string, which is good, because um, we need wool for our copper cables, which are a very important crafting ingredient. Also, I've been getting a lot of these, like, mob heads dropping. I don't know why. Uh, they're just dropping ridiculously frequently. And I've sorted all my chests and stuff. And other than that, uh, not much has happened. I've got like an enchanting room, I've got another portal down here. But the first thing we have to deal with is that I have all these ores now, but I don't really want to waste them. So this is a um, Technic mod pack. And like other Technic mod packs, there is a way to increase the amount of ingots that you get from an ore. In um, Feed the Beast, you can use a Pulverizer or a Macerator. In Technic, I believe it's just the Macerator. And in this, it's something completely different. There are two different items that can do it. One is the Purification Chamber, which is a little too high tier for us right now. The other one is the Enrichment Chamber, which is what we will be building. So here it is. You need two control circuits, a steel casing, and a rich alloy, and a bunch of redstone. Steel casing's easy, it's an osmium and steel. Steel I have to build by... Uh, I, I would prefer to do this, it's a lot cheaper. But I'm going to have to uh, do it this way, using steel dust made from coal and one iron ingot. So I'm going to have to be very careful on the amount of uh, materials I use. So these are enriched alloy and osmium, which is one of the ores. Um, steel casing I showed you. Enriched alloy is enriched iron in, in a furnace. Enriched iron is iron and redstone. And then redstone is just redstone. So 
that's uh, what I'll be making first. I'm going to cut here, and then I'll be back once I have all the materials. Okay, guys, we're about ready to craft our enrichment chamber. I've got all the enriched alloy, I've got all the redstone, I've got all the steel, and I've got all the osmium. So let's start with these. We're going to need two. Now, we're going to need one of these. And now, we should just be able to... Oh, not that. This. Here. We should be able to do that. And there we go. We have an enrichment chamber. Now, this is my chest and, like, crafting room. So, machines aren't going to go in there. I have this nice little room over here that I'm going to put machines in. Probably against this wall, I'll probably eventually have machines over here too, and over here. But for now, we're going to put them here. So, what this guy does is, when you give it power, it's just like a macerator. So, it'll take your uh, ore, and it'll turn it into two dust, which can then be smelted into two ingots. But for that, we're going to need power. So first, for the, like the first power that we get in the game, we're going to want to make a coal generator. So there are two recipes for this. You can use steel or bronze. I'm probably going to use steel. I, I could use bronze. I've got a lot of copper and tin, but I don't want to use that. So I'm going to use steel, and then I'm going to need a motor, which is four more steel, an iron ingot, and four copper wire. Now, we haven't made the copper wire yet, like in the other crafting recipe. Copper wire is pretty simple. It's just copper ingots and wool. So we don't have any wool though. I couldn't find any sheep. So what I'm going to use is this spider silk. You can turn this into wool by putting it in the crafting square. Most of you probably know that. That gives you wool. Alright. So when I've got all my stuff, I will come back. Uh, if you don't like that I'm cutting this up so much, just tell me. And then I'll find a better way of doing it. If there's like an auto crafting table or something, I'll put it in there and just have it ready. Okay. Okay, now I have everything I need for the coal generator. So let's make the motor. There we go. Put that in our inventory. I'll make a furnace. I don't need to click the thing. And now, shift click the question mark once again. And we have our coal generator. Now, while I was away, I also made these things called universal cables. These things are really good. They can carry EU, MJ, and jewels. Um, we're just using jewels, but they could be used in, like, any other mod pack. Um, as far as I know, they are a lossless um, energy transfer item. Oh, I got some uranium back there. Let's grab that. So yeah, I think they're lossless, which means no matter how far I run the wire, it'll still have the same amount of uh, wattage as when it comes out of the generator. So these are what I'm using rather than copper cables, which have really high resistance, which make you lose a lot of watts. So now we've got these hooked up through the back. With the coal generator, you have to hook it up out of the back. Um, with the enrichment chamber, it doesn't really matter. That's just where I like to put it, because that way, once I have a bunch of machines here, it'll be hit nice and hidden. So now, uh, if I go grab some coal, which I have in the minerals chest, I'm trying to be really organized for you guys, because in my, like, single players, I get, it takes me a really long time to find stuff. So if I put this in here, it should start generating... Um, See, is the wire connected? No, it's not. Why is it not connected? Hmm. Okay, it appears that here we might actually need to use copper cable. I know you uh, that you do for a bat box. Do these connect? No. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's scrap the um, universal cable for now. Uh, once we get an energy cube, it'll work nicely. Yeah, see, now it's generating. Uh, so I'll eventually put an energy cube back here that the universal cable can hook up to nicely. Uh, zip. Whole heat, it's heating up. Now it's generating. And we should be... Yep, we're receiving some energy in our enrichment chamber. So now we can take an ore of our choosing. I'm going to do osmium because we're going to need it for our next project. 
and I am going to put it into the enrichment chamber. We're only going to do like the 16. Now this thing makes a re it's really loud and really annoying, so I'm going to step back from that while I explain what we're going to be doing next. Uh, so as you can probably see just now, um, that enrichment chamber is pretty slow. So what we're going to want is some speed upgrades. This guy, not this guy, and this is for force fields. So we're going to want the speed upgrades number 11463, which are made from advanced alloy, osmium dust, and glass. Do I have any glass? No, I used it all on these, which I'm going to use later. Uh, so I'm going to have to go up to the surface to get some glass, and while I'm getting the glass, the, um, the osmium should finish enriching. And I'm also going to need enriched alloy, which again is just smelting, redstone, and iron combined. So, I will be doing that. I'll actually be enriching this iron, or in the enrichment chamber, rather than just smelting it right away. And so, I will be back. Okay, guys, you better get used to this screen, because this is where we're going to be spending a lot of time. In our crafting table, making a cool little item. So... I've got the osmium, I've got the glass, I accidentally placed one, couldn't pick it back up, and I've got the enriched alloy. We're going to be making two speed upgrades. Uh, a machine can handle up to nine, and at that point it's just ridiculously fast, it's almost instant, but we're only making two right now. You put these up here, and it'll eat them like it's smelting. And this will get it up to three times speed. The energy consumption doesn't change. Um, oh, you can actually remove them, I didn't know that. Uh, that is a different upgrade, which I think allows them to take higher wattage, but I'm not sure. So now let's see if that's this guy is. Eh, it's not that much of a difference, but it's definitely noticeable. So, there we go. That guy is now upgraded. Now, the next machine we're going to want to make is an energized smelter. This one here. Uh, there is an item called an electric furnace, but... I find it's not really that good. It um, it doesn't work very well. Sometimes it won't smelt the item you're trying to craft, or trying to smelt, and it just like sits there in the thing, and it just like, it's mocking you. So, uh, we've actually almost got everything we need for this. Uh, I'll need to smelt up a little bit of osmium, and I will also need to make some steel. So I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Okay, guys, I've got everything we need for the energized smelter. Let's make two of these guys. Where'd it go? I don't know why this happens. Uh, which of these is it? This one. We need one of these. Bam. And there we have it. Our energized smelter. No more wasting coal on smelting. Or what I've been doing, I've been using wood because I don't want to waste my coal. Uh, so, now, we're going to make one more machine in this video, because uh, if you head over to the minerals chest with me, you can see I've been going through coal pretty quickly doing all this. And a lot of that is because one steel ingot needs four coal. As I showed you before, there is another way to make steel using a machine be ca called the Met to metallurgic confuser right here so I'm going to need a couple of control circuits I'm not doing basic circuits right now because they're a little more expensive and I have a lot of the stuff needed to make these right now so two furnaces two control circuits an enriched alloy and some iron so I will be back once I've got that stuff okay guys I now have everything we need for this guy Another two control circuits, and I think that's everything. Yep, there you go, metallurgic confuser. I had extra of these because I accidentally made a bunch for um, for this guy when we only need like one. But there it is, the metallurgic confuser. This guy, you uh, there's actually three things you can make in it. We're gonna be using it for steel right now. Uh, you would put coal here and iron here, and you get steel dust here, and it would be that other kind. Um, or, you can put in compressed carbon here, because you need like 
two stacks of coal to fill his bar up. Compressed carbon, you need like a quarter of a stack. And all it is is it's um, coal in the enrichment box. So I could just take like, say, say 16. 16. And when I put these in the uh, enrichment chamber here, they will enrich. And I receive, like I said, compressed carbon. And when you put this in the middle of the confuser, it fills up a little bit of this bar. And then I just put an iron ingot in here, like I said. And we would get our steel dust, which then we would put into this guy. Uh, so. That's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. This might have been a shorter episode than I am normally going to be doing for this series. Uh, basically, this was just to show everyone what was going on and to get started a little bit. Um, a lot of this episode <laughs> went into this box right here. This took me a really long time, and this is actually only a fraction of our cave. I've still got a lot more to explore and light up and stuff like that. So. Uh, remember to leave um, likes and, sub and subscribe to me and comment if you think I should do something better or I'm doing something wrong or if you have a um, if you know of an item that I can use to uh, have some have something like prepared to be crafted like at the beginning of a video I can just have it like laid out I have one step in this uh, ta crafting table one step in the next one and they just stay in rather than spilling out when you leave the crafting interface. Uh, so basically a project table, but that's none of this. So if you know, uh, know of anything like that, uh, post it in the comments. I would be much appreciative. And all, I think I said this before, but all of the uh, the other channels of the people doing the recording, like these two fellows right there, uh, they will be linked in the description. And I will see you next episode. Thanks for watching.